The Congress presidential mansion and Supreme Court of Brazil were uh, stormed by Bolsonaro supporters. Bolsonaro followed Trump's playbook, denied the legitimate uh, transfer of power, and has fled to Florida. Even though Trump is out of power, what are your thoughts on uh, precedent uh, he has set for the world? Thoughts on the language of what language of terrorists? In, I don't want to read this. I think insurrectionist like no no I, is this the name of a oh no, no language ter of terrorists terrorists insurrectionists or rioters yeah what do you mean what does that so, mean so i mean th those those are words that have been used by various people describing that <coughs> excuse me excuse me describing the situation calling them as rioters insurrection or uh, insurrectionists terrorists you know that type of stuff Terrorist. um so this definitely was um so Bolsonaro actually was in um, Florida, which is surprising, uh, which is super weird. Um, but he was. And one of the reasons is because he has been very vocal about the fact that uh, he is a huge fan of Donald Trump. And there are upper level members of his cabinet um, that have told us that Bolsonaro was investigating very, very uh, intently and very, very focused on watching what happened on January 6th and figuring out why it was unsuccessful. Um, so we, we have a lot of reports of that coming out now uh, from a handful of different credible places. Uh, so he very much was using that as part of his playbook um, in terms of, you know, uh, the precedent. Uh, that is definitely something that that is true. I, I have a handful of friends that that are based in various Latin American countries um, and a lot of the times they do express to me how many of the average people in, in their area, um, they do, they look to the United States for how things are done and what things are done. And when something, when the line is pushed just a little bit further, um, they feel justified because they say, look, that look at the United States, you know, where we're, everybody always tells us we're supposed to look up to them. So here's what they did. You know, um, I think, this I, I'd like to compare this to what happened in Peru recently and and talk about why I think that's an important comparison, because what happened in Peru that individuals have used the term coup or insurrection is nothing like what happened in Brazil. And it's nothing like what happened on January 6th. What happened in Peru were um, dip, not diplomatic, but executive and, and legislative, you know, changes that were trying to be instituted. We can argue about whether those are right or wrong, but there wasn't an armed militia of individuals literally storming government buildings. Um, but we do have that in Brazil. We did have that in um, the United States on January 6th. And I think we need to be careful about what we what we label these things as. Was it an attempt to overthrow power in Peru? Sure, fine. Was it an insurrection? No, that's what happened in Brazil. That's what happened in the United States. Um, so I, I will say that, and I'll, and I'll shut up here, but I will say it's it's been fascinating to me how quick they have been able to um, arrest individuals and bring charges. Of course, I think everybody deserves their day in court, innocent until proven guilty. So I'm, I'm not going to make any profound statements just yet on all the individuals. But yeah, I think just like what happened with the January 6th individuals that were arrested, if the evidence is overwhelming, we can prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt in court. Again, innocent till proven guilty. Yeah, what they did is a crime. What they did is undermining democracy, whether it's in Brazil, whether it's in the United States, whether it's anywhere. But yeah, yeah that was pretty good. Do you think it would... It, 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 um... I, I do think that all of these failing is a good precedent as well. Huge. Yeah. And that's why I think it's it's great that there has been such a strong response um, from Lula, um, from his cabinet. Again, say whatever you want about uh, the Workers' Party. Say whatever you want about Lula and all of the policies and stuff. No problem there. Um, but I do think it's been it's been good that there has been a... Um, a swift rebuke of this by a lot of different individuals. Um, there has been, you know, charges where, where there have been charges. Um, D, D asked, were there casualties in Brazil? I believe, yes, there were. Um, I'm not positive off the top of my head what those numbers are, but I, I do believe, yes, there, there were a few. Um, but yeah, I, I would agree with you again, Armin, and just say that 
yeah, the fact that these did not occur, the fact that, you know, these things have happened and they were stopped and we have had a strong, um, you know, a strong response to them in, in saying, hey, this is not okay. This is not cool. That is a good precedent. And I hope that's the precedent that we remember throughout history and not the precedent mm -hmm. of trying to overthrow um, a democratically elected government with violence. So that's my hope. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.